first start, let me show you this stock that I posted after this trading day. Look what happened since then. So it went up by more than 100%. You'd better subscribe to my channel and watch my videos so that you won't be missing opportunities to make some money from the stock market. So let's get started with today's business. You see, this is a hotel company, hotel stock. So it has been beaten down quite a lot. So there are several things I would like to point out. So one is the volume. Since May, the volumes uh, has been increasing quite a lot. That means uh, more investors, more uh, traders are interested in this stock. They are buying and selling. So then uh, lately uh, in the sideway mode, in the consolidation mode, Recent quarters, uh, the performance is very good, like sales uh, and earnings per share. You know the pandemic, so hotels are beaten down by the pandemic. But now uh, the vaccination rate has been increasing and also children's uh, vaccine has been approved by FDA. So uh, with the uh, reopening, uh, the hotel business will be improving. For this specific company, let's check uh, its uh, quarter over quarter performance. Look at the income. The income is uh, improving, okay? It is especially in the past uh, three, four quarters. And the balance sheet, look at the second quarter, it is improving quite a lot. And uh, the cash flow, you see, it is uh, still losing money, but you see in the last two quarters, it is uh, close to recovering to uh, profitable again. So let's uh, take a look what uh, the financial institutions and the investment banks are doing. Look, uh, in uh, first quarter and second quarter, so they are buying those are called smart money okay smart money has been building their positions so that is until q2 let's check q3 okay uh, in august okay you see, you see uh, they are still buying hedge fund mutual funds okay they are building their positions uh, look the percentage uh, increase in their positions look in august Yes, uh, people say we should follow smart money. Now you know uh, the smart money is buying. Then let's check uh, analyst rating consensus. You see, uh, it is a hold. Why it is a hold rating? Because the chart, okay, uh, the stock chart is still uh, under a consolidation mode. Then you see uh, the hold is clear it is close to buy rating okay whenever the uh, stock price goes up it will change to buy rating uh, i would like to uh, put this uh, to your attention okay so the price target is high it is like uh, 32 dollars uh, yesterday the close is 14 dollars okay so this will be more than double like uh, the uh, the room to uh, grow is uh, like 128 percent so although it is hold rating but with a fairly high uh, price target so let's uh, change to uh, trading view chart okay you see uh, the business has been beaten down so is the shares price okay so look it looks like it is in a very quiet mode. However, let's uh, zoom in. So when we zoom in, uh, it is very clear. So the price is moving with, right within the Bollinger Band. You see, it is in, it's very good for uh, swing trading. So it is easy for you to identify the turning point. So whenever it touches the Bollinger Lower Band, so it goes up, okay? 
then it uh, comes down, then it goes up again. So you see, when it shoots out of the Bollinger Band, that is the turning point. Look, that is the turning point. Then after this, recent it has been coming down quite a lot. Then uh, it just released a quarterly earnings report. This is very positive. So you see, the market responded positively. I think from here to here, it is like 10% uh, up. So then you see the bottom the band, band is converging. It is narrowing. And after narrowing, then it will enter an expanding mode. So now you can see which direction it will move because of the business reopening. Okay. So then it is likely in the next while it will do this like this so then for this stock uh, you could buy and hold for years and also you can do a uh, swing trading however uh, in stock market there's nothing 100 percent sure if it does this then you should sell it to cut your loss okay then wait to buy it back at next dip. So you still need to check the buy signal. Okay, this is how you trade stocks. You don't watch your stock decreasing. Okay, you sell it, cut loss, and then keep the money. Don't buy anything else. Then buy it back at the next dip. So in this way, you will never be losing your money. You will be making money all the time. That's it for this episode. Good luck with your trading. Bye until next time.